What is going on guys? It is me again, it's Rfan34, and welcome back to another video. I want to make sure my camera's straight. There we go. But you can, uh, just want to let you guys know, uh, let's see if my camera's straight. I should, okay, I think that's better. But, I want to let you guys know, I'm in an extremely good mood right now. I mean, this is the night before Monster Mania, I'm going tomorrow. Friday, and boy, what a night, I tell you, it was some night, the Phillies were down 5-1 in the ninth thing, and they hit, a, and Bryce Harper hits a walk-off grand slam, the Eagles won in the preseason tonight, I enjoyed a delicious bacon cheeseburger and fries and a drink, um, ice cold drink, I mean, it was just an unbelievable night, and this is all happening the night before Monster Mania which I'm just so pumped up for. So that, that made tomorrow even looking more, you know, I'm looking even more forward to tomorrow because of tonight. I mean, what a night it was. But um, anyways, I figured I'd get on here to do uh, a tag video. I was actually tagged once again by my good buddy Sean, Sean Urshan, uh, to do this, and this was actually, I was tagged by him to do this, but the original creator of this tag was Random Horror, so I want to give a shout out to Random Horror for creating this tag, and basically it's called the, it's a, it's a horror tag called Favorite of the Decade, where basically it goes through each different decade of horror films, and you got to pick your favorite film of that decade, and, um, I tell you what, I thought this one was going to be a little bit tough for me, but to be honest, this list was pretty easy to make for me. This was list, this list was pretty easy. These were no-brainers for me. So, I figured I'd give you guys uh, my choices for this tag. Um, so, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, Random Horror, thanks for creating this tag, and Sean, thank you for tagging me. Let's get on to it. So, the first one is your favorite horror film from the 20s. That, for me, goes to Nosferatu. I mean, that was a no-brainer for me. I mean, Nosferatu, probably one of my favorite films from the 20s, period. Because um, I, I remember the first time I ever saw Nosferatu was actually in a, in, in a cemetery. In the cemetery that's near me, uh, we have, there's, a, there's a thing called Cinema in the Cemetery. And one of the nights that they had a movie play in there, they played Nosferatu. And I remember I fell in love with it. I couldn't keep my eyes off the screen. It was just creepy. The music was well done. I mean, it's a silent film, too. There's no talking. But I love Nosferatu. And still, still, no matter what, I can never get Nosferatu and Spongebob out of my mind when I watch this movie. It's just like, I just can't stop thinking about that. But Nosferatu was for the 20s. Uh, the next one from the 30s, got to go with Dracula with Bela Lugosi. I mean, what more can be said about Dracula? I mean, that hasn't been said before. The next one is from the 40s, and I got to go with The Wolfman, another fantastic classic monster, uh, universal monster movie. I love The Wolfman. I mean, I mean, what more can you say about those original monster movies? Like. The Wolfman, Dracula, Frankenstein, things like that. You know, what more can be said about The Wolfman that hasn't been said before? Uh, the next one is from the 50s, and I gotta go with Creature from the Black Lagoon as my favorite horror film from the 50s. I mean, a lot of these ones are just no-brainers for me. I mean, when you think about The Creature from the Black Lagoon, I mean, such a great 50s, great great 50s horror film. I mean, I could have went with The Thing from Another World. I mean, I could have gone with that. I mean, I could have gone with anything like that, but for me, The Creature from the Black Lagoon holds a special place in my heart. I love um, Creature from the Black Lagoon. Uh, next one, your favorite horror film from the 60s. Now, many of you might would have thought that I probably would have went with Psycho, but I love Psycho by Alfred Hitchcock, but I went with another Hitchcock film, that's a great horror film from the 60s, and it's my favorite horror film from the 60s, and that's The Birds. I still think The Birds, to this day, is still my favorite Alfred Hitchcock movie. I like, um, uh, Tippi Hendren. 
I like the way Alfred Hitchcock directed the movie. You have practical birds, not CGI looking birds. Um, and I know this is one of those films too that I heard was getting remade. I remember hearing about the remake back in 2014, I believe it was, like Platinum Dunes or something like that with Michael Bay producing it. And I remember it was going to be like George Clooney and Naomi Watts in it. And granted, I like those two actors, but really with Michael Bay producing it, like, why would you need a remake of The Birds? Like, kind of like, why would you need a remake of Psycho? I mean, and the Psycho remake was a bomb and it failed. Um, but anyways, that's another story. But The Birds was always my favorite horror film from the 60s. I like Tippi Hendren. I like the whole idea. And, I, and uh, Veronica Cartwright, who went on to be in um, Candyman 2, among other stuff, she's in this as well. I mean, The Birds I love. Uh, the next one, your favorite horror film from the 70s, and you already know what it is, The Exorcist. I mean, that was a no-brainer. My favorite horror film of all time is The Exorcist. I mean, really the first movie that really started the boom of the exorcism-type movies. You know, this was the one that really started it all, and this is the best one. Linda Blair and Lee J. Cobb and Max von Sydow, Jason Miller, Ellen Burstyn... I mean, just a fantastic cast. I think William Friedkin did a great job directing it. Really creepy, great musical score, a lot of great, really great memorable scenes. Like, Jason Miller at the end just gives a powerhouse performance. I love The Exorcist a lot. Uh, the next one, your favorite horror film from the 80s. Gotta go with The Shining on this one. I mean, I've talked about The Shining many times before. It's my favorite Jack Nicholson film. It's my favorite performance by Jack Nicholson. It's my favorite Stanley Kubrick film. I love the whole idea of them being at the Overlook Hotel. It's a really creepy idea in this big hotel during the winter. It's real isolated. A lot of really great memorable scenes, like with the little boy Danny on the little bike on the hallway and the twin girls, the, the, the lady in the bathtub, and Jack Torrance seeing the bartender guy. No, you were the caretaker, Mr. Torrance. I mean, just fantastic. And, you know, here's Johnny. You know, the whole chase through the hedge maze. And, I mean, The Shining, I mean, what more can you say? The blood coming out of the elevator. Love The Shining. Next one is your favorite horror film from the 90s. And you're looking at it right there. Candyman. Whenever I think of 90s horror films, this is the one that always comes to my mind as my number one. Because Candyman was one of those films that just stuck with me throughout the years. Candyman was a really great horror movie based on an urban legend of the Candyman. And just a really creepy backstory about how he got honey smeared on him and then the bees killed him. And his hand got cut off and he had a hook for a hand. Say his name in the mirror and he appears... And just Tony Todd just has that booming voice that just fills the room up. You, you can feel his presence. I mean, just Tony Todd just played it so perfectly. And Virginia Madsen does a great job. But just Tony Todd alone makes Candyman fantastic. I can only imagine what, what Tony Todd had to go through with all the bees in his mouth and, you know, things like that. I mean, just just crazy when you think about that. Um, but And it's just a really, really creepy atmosphere, like with the projects in Chicago. And just a really creepy premise for a movie. Um, I love it. I love Candyman. Uh, next one, your favorite horror film from the 2000s. So, and crazy enough, I gotta go with the remake of The Hills That Eyes. That's my favorite horror film from the 2000s. It came out in 06. Um... Because I like the whole idea that it was a little bit different than the original. It's kind of more of an action horror movie towards the end, where it's like a revenge movie, where Aaron Stamper, who played Doug, going after his, trying to get his baby back, and he just messed up the mutants, and just really gory. It's a lot of really, it's a really graphic movie, and it's a really great cast, too. You have people like Aaron Stanford, Kathleen Quinlan, Ted Levine, Vanessa Shaw. Dan Bird, you have him in there too. I think you have Robert Joy, who was in Land of the Dead. He's one of the mutant guys. 
And overall, I mean, the Hells of Eyes remake is fantastic. My favorite horror remake of all time. And the last one is your favorite horror film from the 10s decade, like from 2010 to now. And I gotta go with Get Out from 2017, because I thought it was just a really original idea. I like the whole story. The, the ending is really satisfying. Not that alternate ending, the theatrical ending. I like Daniel Kaluuya. I like Allison Williams, Bradley Whitford, uh, Catherine Keener, Lakeith Stanfield, Laurel Howery, Stephen Root. I think Jordan Peele did a great job directing this. And uh, same thing he did with Us. That's another really great movie as well. And overall, I love Get Out. So... There you have it. Those are my answers to this tag. So thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you guys next time. You guys take care.